guys, welcome back to Red Fire Garage. I'm working on a little project and uh, I wanted to show you guys a little tip. And I just realized that I have never shared this before. I don't think I have. So I wanted to show this to you guys. So you know, if you take a cylinder head off of an engine, um, you know, like in the truck or something like that, I'll show you what I'm working on. Got an LS engine here. And as you can see, even though I drained the coolant out of the engine, there's always some left in the head. And when you loosen the head bolts, you can see that these lower um, cylinder head bolt holes are completely full of coolant. Now, the problem with that is, is uh, when you put your bolts back in, if there's any fluid in there, you run the risk of almost certainly hydro locking the bolt hole and cracking the block. So, uh, what I want to do is show you guys a tip on how I get all the fluid out. So, all you're going to need is an air compressor, lower nozzle, and a piece of tubing. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a sort of like a vacuum cleaner uh, with these two simple items. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys how to how to get this done. Alright, so when you take the blower nozzle and put it up against the end of the tube and blow the air, the air passing by the end of the tube creates a vacuum in the tube. Uh, basically like a, a vacuum generator, um, if you know anything about pneumatics. There's a lot of vacuum generators that get used in industrial environments and other, other sites. So um, basically what we're going to do is just stick this tube down in the hole. And you want to make sure it gets all the way down in there. And watch this tube as I blow this air on here. But it sucked all the fluid out of that hole. And um, and you even want to keep the air on it, you know, and pull the tube out. That way, if there's any moisture back in the tube, you know, you don't want it to drip back down. So um, I'm going to do another one. Hopefully, the compressor won't kick on. I can show this to you guys, too. So that gets all the all the moisture out of the uh, holes. And so what you want to do is you want to check each and every every hole just to make sure, because um, even these upper ones, you know, they can get a little bit of oil or something in them. So it's always good to just go through, check all the holes. And uh, I've never actually looked, but I'm sure if you actually took a look, you could probably find something like this that's actually a tool on uh you know online or something like that but i've always just used i mean it's just a, a piece of quarter inch um you know poly tubing like you would use on an ice maker or something like that it's probably about 14 inches long and uh you know it does the trick for me so anyway i just thought i'd share that tip with you guys you don't want to hydro lock your cylinder bolt holes because like i said if you hear that little crack noise you probably trashed your engine so anyway I appreciate you guys watching. Share the video if you know anybody that might could use this tip, which is probably most anybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.